pull the highlight off my YouTube just because I think people will be pretty interested in this. I'm really sure people will be interested in this. How are we all? Ladies, it's not a it's not a normal Yeah, this is my day off, boys. I don't I don't stream on Monday. But uh, I've been reading through the uh the proposed grappler web. Um and just thinking about what it's going to do and I'm about to demonstrate how insane this web um can be even if you're using it on a target at 30 kilometers. So I'm going to show you guys that in just a moment. Emil Rinna, hey gone. Mute Beatron, Crimson. So this is like an interaction with any any web. Well, it's a potential interaction between the the proposed web, and it does happen with current webs as well. But it's not really a huge problem because you can't refresh it every two seconds. Well, the new web is, to my understanding, it's going to refresh every two seconds. It's going to recalculate the strength of the web every two seconds based on the target's range from the ship. S4, how you going? Mia Hiss, ladies and gentlemen. I was actually just gonna record this onto my computer, but my hard drives are not being cool. And if I, re yeah, it's, I'm just gonna stream it and then I'm gonna make a highlight out of it and chuck it on YouTube so people can see. So I'm gonna get straight to it. Gonna get straight to it. I know there's not many people watching, but I just wanna make a video out of it anyway. So, I'm in an Atron. My ship is in an orbit around the station at 500 meters. As you can see, it's a almost perfectly horizontal orbit. I didn't choose that. That's just like decided by the server. I don't actually quite understand how it determines the orbital plane. So this is in a horizontal orbit. So if you guys don't know, there's this new grappler web that's just been announced or well, proposed. I don't know if it's definitely coming out, but apparently it's going to come out in March, which is pretty goddamn soon. Firstly, I want to point out that this effect I'm going to show is great for me like I don't fly tackle in fleet so it's it's very much biased towards the person in the battle towards the battleship pilot towards the user of this web so the way this new web is going to work as I understand it someone correct me if I'm wrong the way this new web is going to work is that it has fall off uh, I might I might actually have to dock up if this dude tries to blow me up go away bro I don't know if he's actually proper neutral wait for it he could probably one shot me. Okay, he docked up. Cool. Anyway, so the new web <clears throat> is very, very powerful at close range, but it does have an effect. It does have an effect on your target at up to like 30k because it has a fall off of, give me a sec, like 14k or something. Is that what I read? Is it 14 kilometers? I'm just going to look this up. Give me a sec so I can get my details right. Twelve kilometer fall off. Now, what this means is that this web, although it's very, very weak, so the new web is has fall off an optimum. The effect of the web is very strong at close range, and it's very weak at long range. But I'm going to show you what the effect of even a minutely weak web can do at like at any range. So, at 25 kilometers, this web will have a very minute effect on the target's velocity. So. We're orbiting a station, 500 meters. Uh, so as you can see, orbit station, 500 meters. This is just to demonstrate. Now we happen to be in a horizontal orbit. That is the plane of our orbit is almost horizontal. Now let's just simulate what happens when I drop my ship's velocity by around 10%, which is gonna be roughly like a web, the new grappler web at 25K or something. It's it's going to be something like that. It's going to be a very minute effect. Now look what happens to my ship when I drop it by roughly 10%. You guys watch this. Check this shit out. A lot of people don't even know about this effect. Some, a, a lot of people do, but a lot of people don't. So I'm just going to manually drop the ship's velocity. Watch this. Boom. Look at that. All right. It's completely changing orbit. Now I go back. Now every two seconds, this new web, even at huge range, is going to have a minute effect on velocity every two seconds it's going to recalculate and adjust the velocity and as you can see my ship is going spare every two seconds this is going to happen look at it it's going mental i haven't changed the orbit i just changed the velocity this is what the web's going to do even at 25k every two seconds boom 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 
This means that if you're a tackler, you have to fly and you're up against one of these dudes, you absolutely have to fly manually. Because if someone puts a web on you at 25k and times their guns properly, they can just pop you. Easy as pie. Some stiletto tackling you at like 25k? No, nah, not a problem anymore. Even though the grappler web seems to be designed for close range, it will be very effective. Very effective. Every two seconds, this effect is going to happen. Look at my ship. It's gone mental. Every two seconds. Now, I'm not even doing it every two seconds. Check this out. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. It's going all over the shop. Okay? Now, I don't think this web is meant to work like that. I don't think it's meant to have such a massive impact. Because this is reducing transversal a huge amount. A huge amount. Yeah, I'll link it for you guys. Give me a second. Just a sec. Now, I just want to point out again, this is great for me. Like, if I'm flying solo battleship on stream, some dude tackles me in a stiletto, 25k's out, and he's got Loki links. Let's say he's at 30k's out. There's nothing I can do. The grappler web shouldn't, from what it looks like, be able to help that situation for me. It's a close range web. I'll link it for you guys, just a sec. It's designed for very, very, very close range. So the new web has a one kilometer optimum. I'm looking at the Tech 2 version. Um, a one kilometer optimum. It's increased to a four kilometer optimum with heat and a fall off of 10k. Oh, okay, so I, I, I was overestimating the range. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. So that, oh no, because it's gonna work out to two times fall off. Just a sec. Guys, have a look at that post. If you have a look at that post, you'll see that the web really falls off hard at long range. So it seems to be not designed for long range at all but because what happens is when you turn on your web from what i understand someone stop me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure this is how it's going to work pretty sure this is going to how this is going to be how it works just a sec god damn it sorry guys my browser is being a complete pain in the ass Yes. How you going guys? Lifted Gamer. This is just a really quick stream. I just wanted to demonstrate the effect of even a minute change in velocity when you are using the orbit command. All right. So if you just joined in and that's what these webs will do at long range, they will, um, if I, if I'm using one of these new webs, uh, the grappler web at close range, they're very, very powerful, like up to 90%. So like a fully level five Vindy web, uh, a Vindy with level five cruise uh, battleship, a 90%, right? A 90% web at close range, but at long range, they will still minutely affect your target's velocity. But I'm here to like, the point of this is to demonstrate that even a minute reduction changes the plane of your orbit. Okay. As I'm going to demonstrate once again, so we're in a nice 500 meter orbit. If this dude kills me, I'm going to be pissed. Nah, he didn't kill me. Cool. What a lovely young man, woman, whatever. So if, let's, let's say I'm orbiting a battleship. Just, just say I'm in a stiletto. I'm tackling him at like 25K. He decides to use his grappler web on me, which shouldn't be capable of doing anything. I don't think it doesn't seem like it's meant to be able to save you in situations where you're being tackled at 25K. So I click this button. I drop my velocity very, very, just a little bit. Oh, look at my ship. It's got, it went almost down to hundred MS. And every two seconds, it will minutely, it will have a slightly different strength. Because obviously every two seconds, you're going to be sli slightly closer or slightly further away, further away. And every two seconds, this effect will happen. Now, if you time your guns right, and this is sort of, you can already do this. Like if you're, if someone's under your guns, if you're in a big ship, someone's under your guns, what you do is you turn the web on and off and it provokes this exact same effect. But the web at, at the moment has what, like a eight second cycle time. But the new one will have a two second cycle time. So boom, every two seconds, look, my ship stopped. And again, and again. Now I'm just trying to orbit the station guys and change my velocity. This change in velocity that I'm 
doing here is simulating exactly what the new web will do at up to 30 kilometers. And as you can see, it is huge. If you time your guns right, along with one of these webs, you can blap inties that should not be blapped at 30k. Look at my velocity, look at it. It's going mental. Now all I'm doing is changing it by like 10% roughly. Now this is because um, if you're in an orbit and you adjust your speed in any way, the server re it decides to put you in a new orbital plane rather than being horizontal. Like I'll give you a demo. Now if we change our velocity, it's going to take us into a totally different orbit. Totally different orbit. See, now we're going this way. Change it just a little bit. Boom. Totally different orbital plane. Now the web will do this every two seconds. All right, so it seems like a pretty big problem. Yes, at 30, it will be like 12%. That is correct. That is correct, yes. No, no, we're not talking about Balgorn web range bonuses or any of that. Yes, this, this is AWAT, like AWAT says. Well, the whole, so Don MC has said the whole behavior seems like nothing more than a long standing bug. This behavior has been around for a long, long time and it's something that's re really annoying at times because if you're in an orbit and you de-engage a prop mod or you turn on a prop mod, look, it does the same thing. Actually, we were lucky. Like you've still got some chance of it actually not happening because it seems to be random. But if you, you know, if I change my velocity a bit, then boom, he's decided to go into an almost vertical plane for whatever reason. I change it just, I'm only changing it little bits at a time here and it's dramatically shifting. Look at that. I changed it by almost nothing and it dramatically shifted the plane of the orbit, therefore reducing my ship's speed to close to zero. And this effect will happen every two times with the current proposal for the grappler web. So I just want to demonstrate what I'm doing here is simulating what a simply, you don't have to turn the grappler web on and off. It'll automatically reset every two seconds. And as you can see, I'm not even orbiting anymore. I'm just fucking like bouncing back and forth in space. Now I'm doing this because it, from, from the forum post, the grappler web doesn't seem to be designed to be completely able to disrupt something from 30 kilometers away, but it will, it just will, because this is how the orbit mechanics work in this game. Look at this. I mean, I haven't switched to orbit. I'm still orbiting 500, you know, but my ship is not orbiting anymore. This is simulating being webbed by the new grappler web at 20, 30 K. Now that stiletto that's tackling your battleship at 30 K. If you use a grappler web, which is said to be like a really close range, very powerful web at, at close range, you are completely shutting this dude down. And he's, unless he manually pilots. Obviously I know you can get around this by manually piloting, but most people simply don't. This is gonna mess up a lot of people. Now it won't mess me up. I just wanna point that out. This is great for me. I don't fly s stilettos, you know, I don't, it's, this is, if it does go through as proposed, it is fantastic for me. It means that those dudes that tackle me in a stiletto in low sec, when I take out a battleship, who are normally a death sentence for me until their friends arrive because you just can't hit them. It means that I can just use a grappler web, which is meant to have very short range and completely shut him down. Every two seconds, I get a new chance of getting um, his transversal to zero and fucking, sorry, and one-shotting him, all right? No, the fall off is 10K. The fall off is 10K. The optimum is 1K. So what I'm demonstrating is the effect of this web at up to like 30K, just a tech two grappler web at 30K. This is what it's gonna do to your ship every two seconds. I'm not even orbiting, see? It's, this is not like a, a small deal in my opinion. This is a huge deal in my opinion. All right, look at these fucking, <laughs> look at it. You are completely shutting down tackle from like 25, 30K. Now this is just the way orbits work. When you're in an orbit and you change your velocity or you are webbed, which is the same as changing your velocity, the plane of your orbit changes seemingly randomly. I'm sure there's some sort of algorithm that determines it, but it seems pretty random to me. Big Rex, how you going? And this is what it's gonna do. 
I tweeted this to Fozzie because I don't know if anyone's like aware of this, but like I love Eve. I don't want like, and again, this is going to benefit me. It's going to make the stream a lot better for me, but I, it's, I don't think I, this is an intended effect. Look at this, boom, web hits. Web, this web will recalculate every two seconds. Look at this. It's insane. So I don't think this whole recalculating every, like it just, it's not gonna, it's gonna cause massive problems for, for tacklers. It's gonna be fantastic for people like Mr. Hyde and myself who like to uh, occasionally, him more than me, obviously, and him with a lot more skill than me, but it's gonna make it great because now, if you don't want to be tackled by at 30k, just fit a grappler web, no problem. And since you get a new chance at reducing their transversal to zero every two seconds, it's not going to take you long to pop a to pop a ship that's tackling you at range. As you can see, transversal, it's fucking zero. It's fucking zero. Do you guys all understand what I'm what I'm doing here? If there's any questions about Ice Bud, it does reach 30. No, no, it won't reach 30, uh, 20 to 25. Yeah. If you look at the, no, you're right for um, Ice Bud, but it will have a minute effect, a minute effect on your ship, even at 25K. Actually, it will at 30K. Yeah, it will have a minute effect. Let me just do the maths, guys. Give me a sec. I'm 99% sure the web will still have a very small effect on your velocity, which is all I'm doing here. Tiny effect on my velocity. And look what it's doing. I'm only dropping my, myself to like 90% velocity and back again. And it's totally shutting my ship down. So I'm just going to look that up for just a sec. The duration is two seconds. That's confirmed. Yeah. So that effect that you're seeing will happen every two seconds with the current proposal. Uh. Yeah, go for it, Care Bear. Sorry, guys. Um, Don't you think this would cause CCP to fix this odd behavior when you change? Yeah, but it's been around for a long time, man. I don't know if they're going to fix it. I would love, and I've been thinking this for years. I would love it if you could just choose your orbital plane, but... You know, if they want to, if CCP wants to do that, then f yeah, I am down for that. Whether it's possible or not, I do not know. Um, I'm just want to demonstrate how, how much of a severe effect, not just severe, it will drop. It can potentially and with given enough repetitions after four or five um, repeats of two seconds, you will definitely have a shot at killing a tackle ship that is... Um, 20 to 25 even 30 kilometers away with this new short range web look i um <clears throat> look the whole yeah sky sky kite says people were trying to get the orbit thing change fixed before i quit playing 2.5 years ago yep listen it's not that big a deal at the moment it's the interaction between the new web which refreshes and changes strength every two seconds with the current web it's not that big a deal it is annoying i agree but it's not that big a deal but as soon as you couple this interesting mechanic of the orbital plane shifting as soon as you have a minute adjustment to velocity as soon as you couple that with the new web which will in fact cause a minute adjustment to your velocity every two seconds it then becomes, in my opinion, insanely broken. Like, insane, like, again, it's broken in my favor. Don't, don't, don't like get me wrong here. It's not screwing over my gameplay. It's gonna make it insanely better if this does go ahead because I'm gonna be able to pop stilettos from like 30K in my Vindicator. You know, and you shouldn't be able to do that. You should not be able to do that with a short range web. In my opinion, maybe this is intended. This could be intended, but I don't, it doesn't, doesn't seem like it's intended. It doesn't make sense to me. It's not just kill attack. Now, I want to point out another effect. This is not the only problem. What I'm doing now, if you've just tuned in, I'm simulating 
by very small repeated adjustments in my velocity every two seconds, I am simulating the effect of the new web at very long range, 20 to 30 kilometers. It will still do this at 20 to 30 kilometers every two seconds. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Very small adjustments in the web strength every two, every every two seconds. That's what it's going to do even at long range. However, even at close range, the same thing will happen. Now, at close range, you are stopping ships so much that you're probably going to hit them anyway. So at close range, I don't think it's that... Like, you're going to be killing them anyway. If something gets at one kilometer within the new grappler web, uh, within a ship with the new grappler web, the idea is that you will hit them. That seems like the whole point. It's designed to help battleships hit frigates that are or small ships that are very close and orbiting you very tightly okay that seems to be what it's designed for so the fact that this effect will still be present at very close ranges because it will uh, unless they change the orbit mechanics it will uh, doesn't actually make much of a difference because they're going to be dead anyway even if the effect wasn't like that even if they were in a perfect orbit with the slight variations in max velocity it doesn't matter they're going to be dead but at 20 30k i don't think it, it seems right that this, this short range web should be capable of making such vast fucking changes. Like, look, it's, yeah. Anyway, you guys get what I'm saying, right? It is an anti-everything web. Make no mistake, like, this web will, um, unless something is changed about either the refresh rate, even if... The thing is, even if they, they changed the refresh to every 10 seconds, which sort of makes the whole fall off thing, in my opinion, like redundant, because if it's only changing every 10 seconds, I mean, it doesn't, I mean, maybe it doesn't really make sense. But even if they do that, it still means you can time your shots. Like if I'm in a Vindi and I'm tackled by some dude in a, in a, in a Loki boosted stiletto at 25k, even if it is every 10 seconds, I can still smash him because you're you're affecting them that far out a normal web even on a vindi isn't going past 14k even if you use a fed web a stiletto at 25k is untouchable untouchable and i don't think the grappler web is meant to change that but it will it absolutely will no it's toggy burger it's not possible the current web goes out to 14 because of the fall off, correct. Because of the fall off. The current web does nothing beyond 14 unless it's Loki boosted. This web will have a minute effect all the way out to 30k. If you look at the curve, look at the curve, you will be able to engage this web at 30 kilometers, I'm pretty sure. And it will only have a very minute difference. It'll only have a very minute effect. But that mi minute effect actually has a huge effect. I am What I'm currently doing, every two seconds, I'm making a very slight difference to my top speed. I'm changing it from like full speed to like 90% full speed, 90%, just very small differences in my velocity. And as you can see, my ship's gone fucking mate. Like my ship is spazzing out and it will do that every two seconds. And in my opinion, even if it's every 10 seconds, it still allows you to stop a ship at 30 kilometers range in its tracks with some reliability and it doesn't seem to be intended to do that. Correct, tenderness, even if it changes their orbit just once. Yes. Guys, I, I've been sort of demonstrating, if you, um... Yes, correct. And now no one else, uh, like, I posted this on the forums, everyone was just like, man, Mr. Hyde, no one, like, I mean, maybe people did know this, but... It was the first thing I thought of. I, I haven't slept in 36 hours, okay? I'm not joking. I didn't sleep last night. Uh, long story. I have been awake since the first stream yesterday. I have not slept in 36 hours. So when I was thinking about this, I was like, I got to be missing something. I got to be missing something. You know, something is not right. There's no way that no one else has thought about this because I'm, my brain is really tired at the moment. I need to sleep, but I'm waiting until it's dark so I don't like properly late so I don't fuck up my sleep cycle. Um, now... Someone asked, what happens if you do it at uh, 5k? All right, let's do it at 20k. It's the same thing. The, the effect is the same at any range. The orbit range doesn't mean shit, but I'll demonstrate that as well. Now, this is something I've thought about like in the past. I actually made a post about this like years ago, I think somewhere, saying, hey, why is it like this? Why can't you manually adjust the orbital plane? But it didn't go anywhere and you know, whatever. And it's not that big a deal in itself. 
the whole fact that the orbital it it's a bit annoying but when you couple it with this web that can make minute adjustments out that far which is what this thing will do it has a huge a profound effect um, if you know what you're doing with it and people already know what they're doing with like you know there's a lot of people now who know if there's something under your guns you have angular velocity in your overview you turn off your web on your target that that provokes the same effect here you wait for the velocity the angular the transversal to get very small then you turn your guns back on and then if that doesn't hit you turn your guns off wait for them to finish their cycle turn the web on watch their angular velocity because they're provoked once again to changing their orbital plane and then you wait for it to get low then you hit them now that's sort of annoying but it's still only effective within web range like 14k for a fed navy but um, because this new web will have fall off as long as this thing has fall off which means at quite long ranges it's going to have a minute effect you're going to be able to do this stuff and believe me i will be doing it if it comes out like this it's going to make things so much easier for me i'm going to exploit i mean i don't know if you want to call it exploit i mean it's part of the game so i don't think it's an exploit but i will be using it to pop fucking tackle with 20k 30k even day in day out and i don't think it's intended for that like just to recap it's good for me so let's 